Well, hello everybody, Smithy here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Animals episode. And we're in our uh, lovely animal wildlife park, zoo, I keep calling it all sorts of things. And I've made some alterations, and well, thank you guys, thanks for all the comments, and thank you for the suggestions for the other creatures that we're going to put in this area. And as you see, I've already done some work, already, already. Uh, and we're going to have a look at the said creatures that have been recommended to see and i've got i've put i've done a load of updates we got i forgot as well last time guys we didn't put the sumatran uh, rhino into the enclosure because i forgot about that so without further ado let's get cracking got all sorts and i've done, made some changes over the far side by the uh, sea world center as well yeah so let's just go and check out our little creatures they're all a-okay thank you for the comments about the fact that uh, these will jump on the single fences, these will jump up and down, which I didn't like that. Uh, also, they will creep over, as we saw last time, they will creep over the single glass. Uh, so now I've removed the fences. They're quite happy. Uh, this, the little hedgehogs, as someone said, the hedgehogs are so cute. And yes, Zoocraft Discoveries have hedgehogs because they updated it last year. In fact, they've done some more updates. Uh, so I need to have a look at that as well. Or did they do an update? I can't remember. Uh, but they even play, your hedgehogs even play in the water, which is really cool. Uh, right, first up, I've been told to do this. Uh, so this is a little platypus here. So I need to rename it. I need to name it. I need to name it Perry. And now if this is a joke, you won't see this. Uh, so let me get a name tag and uh, yeah, we'll get a name tag and uh, we'll do that. So this suggestion, obviously it's one of those things. This suggestion was a diamond beast. So thank you very much for that. So let's go and try this. And uh, it's, um, oh, where's it, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where did he go? Oh, uh, we'll have to pick one then. Disappeared. So uh, come on. Oh, and in here? No, we're gonna have to name one then. Uh, what are you doing down there? Let's name one of these. Right, which one should we have? Uh, let's see. I like, I like you. There we go. Ready? Ready? Oh, oh, wow. Perry the Platypus. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is well cool. <laughs> Can I get me net? Where me, where's me net? I want to capture this one and have a look at this. Oh, wow. Let's, let's just, let's just catch you. Let's just capture you and put you out on the air. Oh, look, Perry the Platypus. That is an excellent little secret. Love it. Love it. Absolutely. Well, thank you, the Diamond Beast. Right, there's one thing gone. Uh, we need to... Cause trouble is, I need a big... I wonder if someone can advise me. How can I get a bigger uh, inventory? It's probably something that's, that's out there. Uh, right, okay. So, uh, Reptile House. We'll show you Reptile House. That's from Maracuja Plays. Yeah, we'll talk about that. So it's going to be over there by the by the uh, the sea creatures. So let's give you uh, what we're going to do. We're going to show you the creatures that have been nominated uh, in this little thing over here. So first up, by two people actually. Uh, let's get rid of the name tags because, oh, no, I'll get rid of that name tag and get rid of that. And we want to get up the Gary Al. Gary Al. Gary Al. Indian Gary Al. They said Indian. Why don't you put that next to it? Because it's really cool. Let's have a look at one of those. <gasps> ah, because it's got the water. What a good idea. Yes, we could have those. Uh, in fact, this is probably better here because we're going to have to put some barriers up to the water. So, because this is sort of a bigger area here, maybe we could, uh, pet, maybe we just pen it off anyway. So, maybe we could put it over here. So, there's the Gary Al. Uh, next up, guys. Uh, so, we had from that, that was Julius Dialio, Dialio suggested Gary Al and Appy Juice suggested Gary Al. And next up, uh, the Galapagos. Galapagos. Uh, Galapagos, uh, oh, Galapagos, uh, oh, Galap, there it is, let's go, the Galapagos tortoise, that was suggested as well, so let's have a look at the Galapagos tortoise, put that one in here, that was a good idea as well, so we can have a look at that, so next up, a long time follower, and thank you, Ben Greenwald, uh, you said Tasmanian devil, Tasmanian devil, 
Now that's a lovely small creature, isn't it, for this particular area? And they are cute. I must admit, I do like the Tasmanian Devil. Another way, are we going to fit everything in here? Because we're, we're going to have to let them. It's the cassowary. Uh, so here we go. Let's put one of them in here. Just one. But again, that's that's a good one for this particular area. Probably here. Now the cassowary could be here. That that would be a good area. So what I've decided to do. Oh, by the way, yeah, I'll show you this in a minute. Is I'm going to send the path round here, and across, and then the idea is the path will meet over with the pathway over there. So one more uh, cassowary, cassowary was suggested by Brett Gibbons, and oh my God, also uh, the other thing that was suggested uh, was the red kangaroo. Oh, that was a big crash. Getting some crashes this morning anyway. Right, uh, Red Kangaroo, last one in, of course. So, uh, oh my God, the Tasmanian Devils attacked the Red Kangaroo, which is not red, obviously. That's a grey one. Ooh. Must keep them away. Must keep them away, guys. Must keep... That's an interesting one there. Will they go for the next one now? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. Tasmanian Devils, oh my gosh, right, okay, so there we go, so there's the choice, so we've got one, two, three, four, mm, okay, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, we got a few there, so that, that means, I'm going to have to be careful, so I might be able to, uh, definitely three, so we could have the tortoises, the Gary Owls, uh, although uh, we would like to see them in the water. Maybe it'd be better to give the big pool over there. Put the Tasmanian Devils here and then put the cassowaries over here. Cassowaries over here, okay. Uh, oh, they've all died. Oh, they've obviously been attacked. I think they're all dead now. There we go. And then see what we could do over here. Because if we put the pathway to meet up with that one, we've also got some area here as well. Anyway, guys, I was going to show you. So uh, I'm just going to put a, a pathway. Right, what have I been doing? Right, I've done loads. So you will see that we have the next walkthrough over here. Oh, make sure Perry was here. It crashed. Perry there? Where's Perry? Where's Perry? Maybe Perry. Oh, maybe that's what... Ah, maybe that's what crashed. Perry's gone. Perry's gone. Oh no, Perry's over here. Happy as Larry. Right, okay. Uh, so let's get back. So I have finished the walkway around here. What I did is I decided to carry on in the same because this area is all for small creatures. So I did the walkway around here, guys. So I think maybe the cassowaries. Hmm, okay. Maybe we should do them here. Oh, we need a stepping area here. Maybe we should do them here. Uh, sorry, do the Gary Owls there. We'll have a look anyway. So this carries on round here with viewing area. So maybe the Tasmanian Devils here. Because they're quite small. I, I think what I might do then with this is actually change the biome. Using the biome staff as we did. Then the, the, the Cass... Cassowaries would be over here. The steps come up here, guys. Da, 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 da. And we put all the fencing in over there. So the pathway will come off this way and round. Uh, what I want to do is at some point want to change the design because the idea was to put uh, a savannah over here. So to do the elephants and, and the and the savannah creatures over there. So there we go. But for now, what I've done is I've put the fencing in here. I've done all the fencing. Ah, I know what we want to do. We wanted to put in the Sumatran, Sumatran rhinoceros. Because we haven't got any of those in here. Sumatran rhinoceros. Let's go and put a couple over here by the water. Let's go for this. Oh, look. Sumatran rhinoceros. So wild animals, well, let's put two more. Oh, let's see we have a baby. <gasps> Look. One more. And um, because we've got a lot of rhinos here. Oh, we're not gonna be Oh look! Oh there we go. Quite happy with that, aren't we? Aren't they good? Yes. So we'll put those in there. That never grows. I need to work out how tropicraft. 
Oh, it's forestry. I need to work out how these things grow. I was expecting that to grow, but it didn't. So I must learn the new ways. So anyway, so uh, what else have I done? Uh, we've put, I put the fence in. Whoa, butterfly. I put the fence in along here just for now. Don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I haven't decided to do with this area. But again, some small creatures can be in here. Uh, then I've done a, a new bridge over here. So I put this bridge in. This is using forestry palm wood slabs. And it's got a little bit of a bow over the top. Just a bit of under here. So I put the new bridge in. I've built that. And I put the new barriers in at the moment. I haven't decided what to do with this area yet. Although there's a tiger over here. Now which mod is this from? That's from Dr. Sarg Mo Creatures. And someone said, how do you get Mo Creatures to work in here? Well, if you don't, if you don't include Mob Spawner... So take custom mod spawner out to work with Zawa version 2. It still works. So you just put the Zawa latest, sorry, Zawa latest version 2. Mo Creatures, the last version of the 1.12.2. Uh, get it from their forge site. And then they still spawn. So creatures still spawn. Not as many, but you'll see another horrible creature spawned over here as well when I show you what I've been working over here. But yeah, the creatures spawn. Uh, so they still come in, which is really good. That's the, it's a warthog from Zawa, uh, from uh, Dr. Zark as well. So again, all the animal mods working together. It's just brilliant. You just go over places and, and see various things. They're absolutely fantastic. Because uh, the creatures still spawn. I like this one. See this goldfish here? There's a, there's a, a, a goldfish. <laughs> so we've got new fish as well to go in. Oh, and of course we got the bunny. Anyway, guys. Oh. Hey, from, uh, oh, that's Dr. Zark's uh, Stingray. Ah, right, okay. Not the not the freshwater one. Right, let's come over here to show you what I've been doing. Uh, then I've done the fence in here, along here, and then we have got a new bit to show you with the orcas. Oh, both orcas have now come out of their area because we had them in here, didn't we? So they both managed to swim out. Swim out over here. Yeah, there we go. So the orcas are over here. So uh, where are the dolphins gone? Oh, my dolphins are gone. Have they gone over here? No, the dolphins have disappeared. I was working over here yesterday. So you wanted to ask me what I was going to do with the reptile house and sort of small fish house aquarium. Well, this is what I'm doing, guys. Uh, I've been working on this. So this, the idea was I want to extend the area so you can see now i've put in a new roof and some funny creatures under here by the way oh it's gone they've gone as well see i had some of the beasties from uh mo creatures uh, uh green gol uh green golem oh green ogres green ogres had uh come in here uh, i've also as you remember last time i've changed the biome here this is no longer a swamp as such it's a swamp but i've changed the biome uh using mc edit uh, because what we want to do... Oh, it's a hammerhead! Oh my god, there's a hammerhead! Look! A tropicraft hammerhead! Hey, look at that! So we have got 20 million... <laughs> I'll exaggerate. We have got so many creatures uh, to put into here. So this pool is going to be... This is going to be a free-range pool and we'll see how many creatures we can get here like the shark the hammerhead so but what i've got to do is a bit of a trick i won't be doing it this episode a bit of a trick how i can work on this as such uh and we'll, we'll see there's not much work i need to do because i want it natural as ever so anyway coming back to this guy so let me just come over here to show you the entrance in here so this is where we're going to put our reptiles and the small fish aquarium uh, and I'll show you what I've done. So we've got the main area here. And I thought, right, well, let's keep the design and go around here. And it's quite easy to do. Well, it, was, it took me about an hour to do the roof. So let's come in. But there's things spawning in here. Ah, and two skellies and spiders. So I need to light it up, light it up. So you can see the inside. I haven't done it yet. This could be some of the reptiles or we could have some reptiles this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wall up. Because you need to view it. I've got to work out where the path with the struts. Uh, I might do a meandering path. Or you can go either side. I haven't decided yet. And then we'll start building the exhibits. 
So you can see how much room we've got because we have got a ton of creatures. Uh, and like this here, we could we could have like one bay. So what we could do is we'll just do this. Have a look, block of quartz, take rid of that. Uh, we could just have one bay and build a, a, a go away. Uh, build a, a mini one here. But what I want to use is rocks and stuff like that. So I want to make them unique. Uh, and we need to light them up as well. So this this might be a, like an aquarium or something with the with the glass going across the front and you can see the fishes. Some of them will be touching, so you'll be able to like people could walk in and touch them. And some will be full glassed aquariums as well. So I've decided I put sand down here at the moment, but each one's gonna have to be done separately. Another thing that worked out, excuse me, another thing that worked out is this one here. Because we've got water, what I intend to do is uh, come down here uh, and leave it. Right, so if we do the wall like that, I think this is going to be for like the the rays and stuff. So you can touch the, touch the rays, but I need to have some lighting in here that works. Because uh, it needs to be able to light the section up so you can see them. Also, this is too deep here, so what I'm going to have to do is sort of make it out so I thought that would be the the bit where people they can come and uh, touch the the rays and stuff or see them swimming around I don't know yet but I thought I'd include that in there as a normal thing so yeah lots to do so this episode uh, I'm going to carry on building this because if I do half of it like that I can then use MC edit and bring it around here I want to flatten this area out as well and get rid of that and then this is the main area where I want to introduce. But we're looking at, if I say three creatures. Whoa. Yeah. That's Dr. Sar Sing Ray. Uh, we w wouldn't want to touch that. But we could just put it in as a whatever. Fresh water one. Uh, yeah. And like we want the goldfish. And we want all the creatures from Zawa. And we want the other things as well. So we're going to do three creatures at a time. We're going to head back over here. Uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is we're going to put... They're going to do a bit more building of that behind us. Uh, and then I'm going to build the pens here and the path. And then come back and release them. What we've got to do is, let's have a look at the book. Uh, well, enrichment. So if we were going to do the uh, cassowary. Uh, we've got an enrichment ball, tyre swing ball and stuff. So. Yeah, there we go. Uh, enrichment for... Oh. A heat lamp. I need to find those heat lamps and work out how they do. In fact, one of the other creatures in it. And the kangaroos. Yeah, so we need to put some enrichment items in there as well. So uh, let me have a go at this. Working out where the pens are going to be. Which ones are going to use. And I'll come back and show you the three creatures that we're going to use on this episode. So welcome back guys, uh, mm, we've had a few problems with the park, I don't know if you can see them on the screen. I've done all this work around here on the new exhibits for the four new creatures and then the whole computer crashed and then we've got chunk corruption. So you can see here, see this chunk here, uh, chunk over there, that chunk over there belongs to that chunk over here. So a number of chunks are swapped. Luckily, it's only in a 16 by 16. So if we go across to the other part of the park, it's A-OK. -okay. But as you can see over here, this seems to be the worst part on the rhinoceros enclosure. So we've got that piece goes there. That piece with a wall. Good point where that is. We're going to find out that piece goes over here. So, uh, yeah, so... The one piece I was really worried about was this one down here. So this chunk has gone missing, which has the hedgehogs, the echidnas and the platypuses. And all the platypuses have uh, disappeared under there. So it took me ages to find this chunk. Luckily, because I thought I'd have to rebuild it, it's over here hidden in the trees. Can you believe that? But the platypuses have all gone so we will luckily, no matter, there's part of it, there's a chunk, so I'm going to have to pull that out. But I can't find the just chunk. Uh, 
I wonder if all the platypus is done. Yeah, so I can't find this chunk. So this chunk will miss out somewhere. So I need to go and find it. So what I've got to do is after this episode, after this episode, uh, we've got to move the chunks. So what I'm going to do is I will do that between this and next episode. Use MC Edit, take the chunks out and repair them. There's another chunk missing there. But I've got I've got all the main chunks, so I'm quite happy. Uh, there's just one odd one over here, look, from the uh, make, Meerkat exhibit. But that's really good because uh, there's a couple I've got which I can swap around. So it's just a case of swapping around one by one, which take about 30 minutes work, hopefully. We shall see. What is that in there? Oh, that's one of the that's one of the goats from somewhere else. Uh, right. I wonder if all the platypuses have arrived. Anyway, guys, I should come back to these four here. Well, at least we can actually release the animals in these four. So first up, we got the Garial, this Indian Garial here. You can see. Oh, I never told you. I've used different trees and bushes. So we've got. Uh, the mount this is the plant mega pack we've got mountain tree cabbage we have the red ceiling wax palm we have the big leaf palm and we have the madagascan palm there and i brought some trees in as well so we know where that one is that goes with that tree over there so you can see here we've got two types of cherry uh, this is doesn't come up as cherry, uh, cherry wood from the forestry mod and we've got this uh, palm trees from Tropicraft as well so you can see I've done this uh, and when it crashed I was putting in a fence here uh, by the way I've also got invisible fences here so I'll just show you that in a minute if I just bring that in and I needed the nets let's just do that so if I bring this up put the invisible fences up to stop the animals and this is going to be the Galapagos tortoise exhibit so I thought I'd show you that. So anyway, as we put the animals in, you'll be able to see a bit closer. So it's a bit of a pain, but uh, and I, one thing I can't find is the river. So I cannot find this bit. I'm sure I will once I go through it. Uh, that is the only block I cannot find, uh, which we do. Right, straight up, let's go for the Indian Garials. We put them here by the exhibit. Oh, look, the echinid, echinid. echidnas have just sort of, luckily, some of them have survived. So we're all right. We're all right. We'll put some more in anyway. So let's put it. So I've designed a pool because these go into the pool. So let's just bring some out. I've already ported one in because I was testing out. So let's bring some more. And let's have a baby, shall we? Got a little green one there. Oh, there we go. Is that cool or what? <gasps> You're going to go in the water. There's another one. There's another one. In fact, one more. <gasps> yes so let's just go and have a look at that so the visitors come in here look you can see them swimming very go. Oh. hello right they seem to be quite happy now with the swimming uh, right so next up Tasmanian devils but I haven't put any water in here so let's just put some Tasmanian devils in here and um, they should be a-okay now. Put a couple of babies in, shall we, as well? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the following mum. And they are slightly different. There's different sh shades as such. They're quite happy, aren't they? We can put a few more in here because it's, it's a good-sized pen. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll have to get this block out. Oh, fish is trying to get in there. So let me just I need some water, don't they? We haven't got any water. Just put a put a bit of water in for now. I'll change that when uh, I edit it. We'll just do that, and I'll upgrade it for the next episode. We'll just put it in there so they've got some water for now. Okay. So they're quite happy in there, look. And the Tasmanian Devils are quite happy. I love the way they look with the different colour feet. <laughs> Put a couple more in here because they are cute, aren't they? Tasmanian Devils, one of the better creatures in this mod. Oh, oh, oh. 
can watch the mum and the baby. Just go and see what's going on there. Superb. <laughs> right, okay, so that's that pen. Next up then we have the cassowaries. Now these can't get out because there's a blocker here. So we've got one, in fact, we'll let, let these out now. Oh no, the Tasmanian Devil, there's one in here. Let's get this out of here first. Because they attack the kangaroos and kill the kangaroos. So we need to get that over here, put you back in here. There we go. So right, let's put the cassowaries in there. Let's release these from this particular pen. And then they can carry on going round. And I'm going to put these two creatures together Cassowary and the red kangaroo makes a lot of sense really because they're quite happy living together and it's a good sized pen to do that right I love the noise the cassowaries make here we go you have escaped right let's just bring some more in and a baby, a baby cassowaries as well. They are good, aren't they? Let's bring a couple more in. One here, one here. Now they've got water at the water's edge. I'll bring some more babies in. Look at those, look at the little beaks. Okay, so I think we can bring a couple more in. So that we've got enough. Oh, the Galapagos tortoises in here. I forgot it had escaped. So let's go take that over here to the Galapagos pen, which is over here. I just dump that in there and we'll put those in a minute. There we go, you can stay there. So let's put some more cassowaries in here. And you, oh, baby. And you can see that we used, I never mentioned that, we used the biome uh, wand to change the biome. You can see what I've done here. We've put in a savannah biome mixed in because it's representative of the, oh, I didn't know they swam. They obviously do swim. Hello, I take it you're after the sea bass. Anyway, there we go. Right, so, oh, castle. oh, no. They shouldn't be able to go any further than that. So they're in the water. Makes sense to actually, I'll oh, just mark it out. It makes sense to put a pool here, I think, uh, for later. So we'll just put that in for now. And then they've got some water over here. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. And I can sort of adapt that before the next video. So red kangaroo then we want. And we want the Galapagos tortoise. Red kangaroo. And the Galapagos tortoise. Which should be there. Right. So the red kangaroos, or these ones are released, are quite happy. Lots of babies as well, shall we? <laughs> They're all the same colour. Let's have some red ones. Yes, there's a red one. Just admire these from the balcony. So I think it's great the babies stick with the mother and just hop along. Oh, looks like that's got four babies now. I wonder if that happens. Let's have a look at the cassowaries. They seem to be very happy in their habitat. Let's just go and check through the visitor area, see if you can see them. 
Yes. See them all actually. Here's the Tasmanian Devils again. Right, okay, so I've put a couple more in, I think, for those. What's the population like in there? I think that's alright now. Put a couple more in over here. Another red one. This, I thought there was a yellow one as well. Anyway, right, so last up, guys, not the least, is the Galapagos tortoise. So when we picked the four at the beginning, I was thinking, where am I going to put them? But then this was a complete waste ground over here, which leads into the tiger enclosure, which we haven't really tigers in at the moment. Maybe I have to repopulate those. But uh, I thought, just a nice little area to put these. Now, where's the one we already spawned in? There it is. And people can walk up, as they do in normal zoos, and you can be cl up close with the Galapagos tortoises because they're so large. Right, let's have a look at this. Have we had a baby? There we go. Ha ha ha. Oh, that's a different. No, the baby's that shade. There are. I thought there were different shades. Look, there's different shades of the shell, which is just like the real ones. We put a couple more down here. Oh, this is like a grey, grey brown one there. Now this, I've learned, this uh, blue, blue jay uh, follows me everywhere. Now I don't know whether I befriended it in a previous episode, but it, it sort of flies away when out close and then when we move somewhere else, it's always there. Uh, put a couple more. Have a couple more babies. Yeah, see, look, it's coming back to me again. <gasps> oh, that's nice. They seem to be very happy. Right, so what, if I remember rightly, let's see what these need. Because tire swing and heat lamp. That's for the babies, no doubt. So let's have a look. E tire. Tire. In fact, I've probably spelt it wrong. Tree swing, tire swing, decograph. It's that one mod. I wouldn't expect the Galapagos tortoises to like a tire swing. I don't get that, but. Oh, look. You can actually put them on the tree. <gasps> now that's, I like that. So if you do that, Now that's clever. So if I put a block down, look, and then I put the swing on top of that, it goes right to the tree. Take that away, and the swing is there. So we just try it here, put the block down, put the tire swing there, take the... <laughs> I don't think Galapagos tortoises will be playing on the tire swing. I don't get it. But there we go. Uh, I mean, we could do this as well. That's, I like that. In fact, let's try it on this one. Now, how far can we go? We do that. That is superb. Oh, they are going to the swing. That's really funny. So, right, okay. We'll just put one more in here. <laughs> right, okay. I wonder what these need. These probably need something else. A brush, a ball. Oh, yeah, balls, that's it. Let's put some balls in here to play with. In fact, we need to put one of these in. 
Where's the tall tree here? Oh, that goes off the bridge. That's clever. Okay, and then so that's that's what we want in here. We'll put those down. Like so. So what do the Gary Owls want? Ball and tire swing and heat lamp. So we'll put some of these down, see if they play with these. Let's just see. Something to play with for them. Oh, baby Gary Owls over here, look, trying to get out. The other ones, they're swimming down here. Interesting. Right, okay. Well, apologies for the the mess up in the middle of that video with these chunks, which we've got to sort out. Uh, I think we've put enough animals in there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll come back. <laughs> we need to fix this bark. And hopefully by the time we get to the next episode, we'll have it all completely back to normal. And what we'll do is a quick guided tour again at the beginning to show that it's all working. In fact, let's put a few more of these down here. I think these will be happy with some of these fun things in there. So there we have it. Thanks very much for watching. Please, uh, what would you like to see next? I'm going to do the one thing we're definitely going to do is the Sea World over here because we want to put some of the exhibits for the uh, fish and the amphibians and lizards. We want to do their part over there. So that's what I'm going to do next. So thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.